I have been asking the Father to see him like Moses, on two occasion I saw God who took the appearance of an eagle, this eagle was really enormous, above the wings of the great eagle I saw a rainbow that was like waving, the eagle was wholly white with white feather, then I saw that I was walking in the street, I saw the great eagle again, this time around he was flying in circle around me and above my head, until my way was filled with white fog, glory and light, I walked on this glory until I reached the temple, and before the temple I saw the enormous eagle with wings spread, he had huge leg, when you see how enormous the great eagle was you may flee, he had huge feet and was looking at me with his blue eyes and I kept watching him, I heard a voice that said I am God, the Bible say the woman was given the two wings of a great eagle, so that she might fly to the place prepared for her in the wilderness where she would be taken care of, I saw a vision in which the Lord appeared to me in a sign of a rainbow, he walked on the ground and left his footstep on the ground, and he told me now walk on my footstep, after following the steps of the Lord. I saw that before me was a gate, when I had opened that gate a strong light broke out, it had nothing to do with the light we have on earth, nothing to do with the Avida light we have on earth, when we walk in the step of the Lord the gate of heaven is open and the glory is our portion, then th Lord appeared to me in the shape of a dove around my cupboard, then he transformed a huge character too glorious to behold for he was like the sun, I saw only his white robe that shone more than the sun with great glory, and I heard a voice that spoke in the heaven I am God, the Bible say at that moment heaven was opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him, I was walking in the street when the Lord took the shape of a pillar of cloud, this pillar moved with me in the street and then began to turn around me until I felt the Lord touching me on the shoulder, on the 30th of March I was in prayer when the Lord began to talk to me, he said Joel, if the rapture were to happen in 2020 there will be four that will be rapture, if the rapture were to happen in 2021 there will be five that will be rapture, if the rapture were to happen in 2022 there will be six that will be rapture, if the rapture were to happen in 2023 there will be seven that will be rapture, the Lord asked me, Joel, which of all these years do you prefer, I know you will choose 2023 because the number seven seem better, but take note, the rapture will happen in few months, I knew that these number like 5 or 7 only meant that few will be rapture, and I was at home thinking about the word of the Lord few months, and then I thought it is written but do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day, the Lord said the rapture will happen very soon, brethren the Lord told me to tell you this, 1, stay awake, 2, sleep less, 3, don't be people who like to sleep a lot, 4, soon the trumpet will sound, beloved in the Lord last week I was laying in my room, when I look at the ceiling of my room I began to see the clouds, the roof was no more, and I saw an angel passing above my house because the sky was opened, he wore brown sandals and white garment, at the level of his chest there were many colors, he had black hair, I was looking at the face of the angel that was really beautiful like a woman, he landed before me and said, Joel I want to say something to you, then he said wait a minute, and then he disappeared, when I look up again I saw before me a massive golden door opening, when this enormous golden gate open, I saw golden boulevard, on both side of the road I saw clouds, this golden road before me was like a presidential carpet of pure gold. At the bottom end of this road I saw a throne of gold, there were three angels around the throne and they were dressed in brightening garment, at the left hand of the throne there was a strong shining light, this light was surrounded by a rainbow, I was still standing before the gate of heaven watching in the horizon the throne, at that moment I saw arriving the Lord Jesus Christ, he had a golden crown on his head and a golden belt on his hip, he was addressing the angel that stood on his left, I notice he was speaking to this angel with smile because the Lord always smile and he always talked to me with smile on his face for he like joy, finally he stood up and began to walk toward me, I was watching him walking on this golden boulevard that looked like a presidential carpet, I said this is Jesus Christ because I know how he walk, then he opened his arms and said welcomed back home Joel, I said I was laying on my bed how did I come here, I did not see the staircase of light. 
the chariot of fire or the light that sucked me up last time, the Lord said it's the Father that transported you here, Joel, when you pray remember to kneel down and say Lord Jesus Christ who went to the cross, who walk on water, when you talk to me you can call me Jesus but when you pray to me you will address me as the Lord Jesus Christ. He took my hand and we walked on the golden boulevard heading toward his throne, I saw that I was dressed with a pure white garment, the Lord and the three angels were supposed to come to visit me at home, the angels went to clean my house and remove any pollution and made it holy, in anticipation of the Lord visit, already before coming to heaven the Lord had to wash my hand and feet and hair and gave me a white garment, the Lord is extremely beautiful and when he laughed great light come out of his mouth, in heaven the Lord showed me something that I did not know, he showed me a female angel that looked like me with my face, she was shining and had black hair and had wing. I was stunned to learn that there are angels in heaven that look like us, they seem like our twins, I understood that often when I dream a brother or sister bringing me a blessing it was actually an angel of heaven, in heaven there are angels that have the same appearance with us, I saw angels that look like my children, it's like God has created them in heaven as angels and recreated them on earth as human for we have the same face with them, it's like God has made us twin with angels of heaven, brethren the angel that look like you in heaven care about your salvation, he look at what you do on earth, when you want to pray but you are tired and weak, he is looking at you and he is preoccupied because he wants you to rise up and fight this battle, the angel that looked like you is watching you and the way you are fighting in this battle against the world, sin and the devil, he know your journey and all you have been through, the female angel that looked like me is called the bright one, the other day when I went to do shopping, when I came back home I saw an angel, when I look at her I said it's me, because the angel had my face, she take care of the Lord food in heaven. I never comprehend God because he always has a plan and a way in every problem of the world, when the Lord came to visit me with the archangels, the cherubim and his disciple and mother, he said, I am a God that does not tolerate idolatry, the rapture will be a terrible day, a really terrible day, the rapture is near brother let us prepare, only those who have their name in the book of life that will be rapture, when the Lord appeared to me with all his disciple I ask about Judas he said he is in the abode of the deads, he betray me, then Mary said to me, Joel, stay close to my son Jesus Christ, stay close to Jesus, don't ever move away from him, Mary began to tell me about her family on the earth, she said, one day it was Jesus birthday, added a cake for the occasion, I sliced the cake in three parts for we were only three, then Jesus said to me, mother, make more cake, I said we are only three, he said but we have angels with us, but I could not see them, I still made more cake and serve on the table, and I saw with my eyes the cakes sliced disappearing for the angels ate them, one day Jesus of Nazareth when he was a child, his hand stretched out to the sky, and he touched the rainbow with his hand, and his hand had become multicolored, the other day the Lord stood on top of the hill and were cared that he will die if he jump but he jump and descended safely, people could not see the angels that attend him, they asked him if he was an angel, Mary continued to speak and said, one day I was sleeping and it was 3 a.m. when I heard Jesus calling me, mother, when I woke up I saw Jesus Christ but with eyes of fire, it was the first time for me to see Jesus with eyes of fire, I trembled, and Jesus said mother give me water to drink, Jesus who was there asked me, Joel, do you know why fire appear in my eyes? it's when I want something that fire appear in my eyes, I keep my sword in my mouth and my pocket, it is a double-edged sword, it become little when I want to keep it in my mouth, I strike the wicked with this sword, I correct, repair and punish with this sword, from his mouth came a sharp sword to strike down the nations, he will rule them with an iron rod, he will release the fierce wrath of God. When he was three years old he went to the river and people were shocked to see him alone but in reality he was not alone, God explained to Jesus Christ what others did not understand and Mary his mother asked how do you know? Who taught you this, how do you know all this, Jesus smiled and said it was my father God who taught me, I asked Mary the mother of Jesus, people kneel to your statue saying it's you, she answered it's not me besides I'm not like that. 
When the video of Peter Denial was broadcasted among the Apostle and the Angels, I saw on the screen that Peter was shouting, screaming and swearing I don't know him I never met him. The Apostle John was laughing about this, and Peter said I was really scared, just scared. I asked Peter, it was said that you were the leader of the group, Peter answered, no it was not me, it was Mary the Lord his mother. Then Mary Magdalene said, When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to us in the upper room, his dress shone with one thousand fire, I said to Jesus Christ the great King, Why did you say to Mary your mother, Woman what is it between you and me at the wedding at Canaan? He said because I am the Son of God, I said Jesus Christ my great King, Why did you listen to demons and send them to swine? He replied, Tell me Joel, this man was delivered yes or no? I said yes, he said I did that for this man and you should not ask the demons the questions, it is not a good idea, the Lord was also with his seven archangels, the word arch, written without eight means color, an archangel is the angel who has several colors of hair and clothes, the Lord said it is the archangel Michael who came to get Elijah with the chariot of fire. He said the two angels I sent to the city of Sodom and Gomorrah were the archangel Michael who is the first of the archangels and the archangel Raphael who is the second of the archangels, Michael puts justice on earth, it was the archangel Michael who had rolled the stone to the tomb, the archangel Michael said, we the archangels are not like the angels, we speak with authority, on the day of his resurrection the Lord was carried into heaven by the archangel Michael and it was the archangel Michael who had rolled the stone of the tomb.